Hi, Hiram here. I don't know. It's really beginning to look a lot like Christmas around here. First, I have one of my viewers send me this Vargo Titanium Hexagon Wood Stove. I mean, just out of the kindness of their heart, they sent me one of these to play with and to keep. Thank you. Now, a couple of days ago, I received this from Wah Hiker. It's a GSI Halulite 2.7 liter pressure cooker. Pretty darn cool. Thank you, Wah Hiker. Uh, I just want to do a first look at this. Today, do a quick boil test just to see how it works with boiling water. Not that that's what you use this for. Uh, for those of you that may not have used a pressure cooker before, out of fear or whatever, or just haven't used it, I've used larger ones. I have a larger one. Really works nice as far as uh, cooking food much faster, keeping in all the flavors and everything. I mean, they're really nice to use. I've never used one this small, so this should be interesting. Uh, <clears throat> first thing you should do with this, is definitely read the manual. I mean, read it. Don't just, you know, glance over it. Actually read it. There's a lot of safety tips. It explains the different components of the uh, pressure cooker. Read this. Different things on there that it'll tell you about are the safety valves, the pressure valve. Well, rather, this is the safety. Yeah, this is the safety valve, and this is too. This is a safety lock. It explains how to open and close it. It's pretty nice. It's got arrows on the top. You just align these and it comes right off. Now this says that it's a 2.7 liter which comes out to about equal to 2.85 quarts. But I think what they're talking about is if you filled this up just as a pot it would be 2.8 quarts. You can't do that, obviously. There's marks on the inside, a halfway mark and a two-thirds mark. When you're cooking things like beans, uh, yeah, beans, soup, stocks, foods that expand, you're not supposed to fill this up further than the halfway mark. You should never, ever fill it up more than the two-thirds mark. The half-full mark is about one and a half quarts. The two-thirds mark comes out to about two quarts. So the 2.7 or 2.8 quarts must be to the top, which isn't the way you'd actually use this. Uh, it comes with, I thought it came with recipes, but it just comes with times of uh, how you have to cook some of this stuff. Just to show you how you could save time with this, let's just say rice. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, one cup of rice with one and a half cups of water. Cover it. It should be done in about six minutes from the time that it starts steaming. But like I said today, I'm just going to put this on a mojo pot stand and see how it works as far as just boiling, steaming some water. So what I want to do now is I'm going to cut here get some water prepped for this, get it about 60 degrees, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I have two cups of water here setting at about 60 degrees. That wasn't easy to do. I should get this done right away. Uh, it was kept heating it up, heating it up. Okay, all you do, like I said, is you line up the arrows with the handles. Also, before you, it also says in the manual that you should take this apart and reassemble it to make sure that everything's working right in the right places. This is the pressure valve. Yep, it's on a screw thread. You just lift it up, unscrew it so that it's free, and that way it acts like the, the pressure valve. So let me put this on before it heats up too much. Line up the arrows, push it down. Just follow what it says on the top. Closes the counterclockwise direction. There, just like that. 
I want to see how this works on a Trangia. So I'm using the, min, the uh, Mini Trangia unaltered on the Mojo stand. Let's let that get to a bloom. I can't say it enough. If you get something like this, read the manual and acquaint yourself. You know, make sure you know what you're doing with this. It's not dangerous, but it can become dangerous if you're not using it the way it's supposed to be used. Come on. Again, I'm just testing this to see how it, it acts for just boiling water. You can cook all kinds of things. It's got lists here for lamb chops, five minutes, pork chops, five minutes. Now that's five minutes from the time that the valve starts jiggling. Is that on? No, not yet. Now I filled this up kind of high. There we go. So that always makes it hard to come to a bloom. Put it on the flames. One of the things that it says in the instructions, make sure you don't have flames coming up to hit these handles. Let's see, what else? Uh, vegetable cooking, you could do corn on the cob in two to three minutes. Again, that's from the time when this starts jiggling. So it comes up with a whole list of uh, vegetables, crab legs, two minutes, salmon, a whole salmon, although I don't know if you could fit a whole salmon in here, in six minutes. Doesn't give res recipes, but it does have uh, cooking times. Okay, so let me let this go. I'll come back when the valve starts jiggling, and I think I have to change the camera angle a little bit so I get the whole thing. So I'll be right back. Okay, there we are. A little after nine minutes. Now the valve is starting to release. That releases it so that it keeps the pressure, which I think is about 15 pounds. That's when you start your timing uh, for the cooking. But also what you have to do is you don't want that to uh, rattle hard because that's all water coming out there in the form of steam. So what you're supposed to do is turn down your heat. So you have to kind of play with this to regulate it. Now air and steam did come out of these to the safety lock and the safety valve, but now it's stopped. I think that's what it's supposed to do. And this is just supposed to gently rock. So you have to regulate your temperature of whatever your burner is. Let's see if I can get this to go. That was what? Nine minutes did I say? You don't want this to... I think I just said... I'm thinking here. Far, sorry. Uh, you don't want this to rock real hard because that would be steam coming out, which would be water coming out of your pot. You lose your water, your stuff will burn inside. While we're wasting some time here, a couple of other things... This weighs 1,273 grams, definitely not a gram weenie, weenie item, 44.9 ounces or 2.8 pounds. I'm not sure if this is something that you would necessarily take on a backpacking trip, but on a canoeing trip, a trip with your polk in the winter, car trip, things like that, I bet you this will be great. A little small, but great. One other thing that I noticed missing on this is most of the time on pressure cookers, there's a plate or grate on the inside so that you can elevate your food up off the bottom so it doesn't burn. This doesn't seem to have that. I'm not sure if there's one that you can buy, but a lot of recipes call for you lifting your food up off the bottom of the pot. Now this is about... That just means that it's got 15 pounds of pressure and it's cooking in there. So, leastways on my other my other uh, pressure cooker I have, 
This is about how you'd keep it. Anything harder and you're losing water. So this is pretty neat. Looks like I can do it on the with using the Trangia with the Mojo stand. It's not too heavy, I don't think, but it all depends on what you put in there to cook. Now, when this started rocking, that's when you'd start your timer. So if you were making, let's say, well, rice, let's say white rice, one cup of white rice, one and a half cups of water for six minutes. So as soon as this thing started rocking, that's when you count your six minutes. Now the other part that's interesting with pressure cookers is when you're done cooking, you can't just open the top. It'll be under pressure. So what you have to do is it depends on what you're cooking. If you're doing like a stew or meat or something, something hearty, you just take the pot off, off, off the flame and set it to the side, being careful with it. Okay, I may have to turn this up just a little bit. Uh, maybe not. Anyway, you have to cool it off so that it will open up. For hardy stuff, uh, you can just set it to the side gently. It will keep cooking for like five or six minutes until the pressure releases so that you can open it. For delicate stuff like, say, fish or something that you want to stop it cooking right now, you can set this to the side and pour cool water, not cold, but cool water on the top. Now, see, this isn't going enough, so you got to regulate this. Open this simmering up a little bit. See how when I take that off? Let's try that. See, that really makes a difference, opening it up. I took the simmering off and it started boiling hard again. So I just have to learn how to regulate this simmering. It's about halfway open. Let's see, I was saying if you had something delicate like fish or something else that you needed to cool off right away, what you can do is set this to the side and pour cool water on the top. Not cold, but cool water. Do not, I repeat, do not take a pressure cooker and set it down in cold water. You're asking for big trouble there. Just gently pour water on the top and you'll see when the pressure's off. Okay. So I think that's enough for boiling water. I think it's a pretty nice little kit. You may have noticed I turned it around, around so you can see the GSI in the front. But I'm, I'm pretty happy, except for the missing grate in it. Uh, this looks like it's going to be doing some cool stuff. So maybe my next time I'll just make rice. I like rice. This will make it fast. If it says it makes it in five, was it five minutes? Six minutes. So we could have made rice in this time. Uh, other things, you can make beans. What did it say for beans? Navy beans, 30 minutes. And that's without it having to having to soak the beans beforehand. A couple of things you can't make, though, is like oatmeal. You can't make something that foams up inside because it will block the safety valves, and then you'll have lots of troubles there. Okay, well, I thank Wall Hiker for this. I really appreciate it. I got, you know... Like I said, it's like getting like Christmas around here. It's just unbelievable. Let me just take this off. Like I said, you got to be careful with that. When you open it, when you do open it, you have to open it so that you open it away from you. You never open up something towards you in case there's still steam in there. But as I was saying, I thank Wall Hiker. I thank the other person for the uh, Vargas, Vargo store. Yeah running around here I thank them I thank everybody that sends me stuff I really appreciate it uh, I thank you for watching especially something like this I always look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max 
Bye now.